Today I woke up about 8.30, had a pint of water with my vitamins. In this video, I'm just gonna show you what a day of eating looks like doing 24 intermittent fasting. It's essentially OMAD that I'm doing, one meal a day. Just done a quick 20, 30 minute workout. I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna work all day from home. So workout is done. Now I'm gonna have a whole lemon squeezed in this water um, before my coffee. It's now two in the afternoon and time for another coffee. Right, it's 6.30, so I'm gonna break the fast with some creatine and protein. Just before I drink the protein, I'm gonna have a swig of the apple cider vinegar. Apparently it can be quite good to break a fast with. Delicious. Now the protein. It is 10 past seven and I've finished work for the day. I don't usually work up until seven, but today I did. So I'm eating a tiny bit later than I usually would. I usually eat at seven. Tonight I'm probably gonna eat at 7.30. My eating window finishes at 10.30. Obviously had the protein shake, 6.30, so that's four hours up until 10.30. I'm gonna save you the spectacle of the cooking montage, or I'll give you a very brief one. Then I'm basically just gonna show you everything that I'm eating this evening, which will be all my food for the whole day. And then after I've eaten, I'm gonna go through everything and I'm gonna look at the nutritional content, list it out on the screen so we can analyze what I'm having, what I'm missing, and what I should change to improve my diet. Okay, so here we have it. We've got cheese on toast and more cheese. We've got an apple, avocado, some salad here. We've got spinach, tomatoes, it's beetroot in there, some carrots. And here we've got beans, four eggs, onion, and some more bread underneath. It's a sourdough bread. We've got this Aqua Libra drink. Just got that as a special little treat. Hot sauce and some salt. Just to some you might have heard about Iraq's Rambo. It is 8.40 and I've pretty much finished. I've just got this tiny bit extra to eat. But now I'm just gonna let that digest for a little bit and then I'm gonna have probably one more snack, possibly two more snacks before 10.30. Okay, so it's taken a few days to calculate the totals, but I can now tell you that the total amount of calories that I had is 3,366. The protein was 169 grams, carbs 277 grams, and fats 172 grams. So I'm gonna put the breakdown of all the different foods, what they had in them on the screen for you to have a look. The gist of it is I'm having slightly too many calories, having not enough protein, and probably overdoing the carbs slightly. A rough breakdown that people say on the internet that is good is 40% carbs, then 30, 30 for protein and fats. I'm gonna do a little bit of maths and figure out how far off I am. I'll put that up on the screen now. One good thing about doing the OMAD is I'm certainly, even though I'm having too many calories, I'm certainly not increasing my weight. And that's the main reason that I do this diet is because it initially lost me the weight in the first place and now allows me to maintain it even though I'm not necessarily tracking my what I eat that specifically. I don't know about this but I think it's probably due to the fact that you're intaking all of your calories in such a small time frame possibly they don't all digest in the same way they would if you had them throughout the day. That's possibly a reason why I'm not increasing weight, but don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, this has been a really useful thing for me to do, to figure out where I'm at in my diet so far and how I can improve it. My initial thoughts are 
just to have a slightly more protein heavy diet because even though I've introduced a protein shake and a creatine, I could definitely have more. And I'd love to know how that affects me physically and doing the things that I do in training, how it helps having extra protein. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think of my diet and my breakdown in the comments below. If you've got any tips or feedback for me, I'm more than happy to read over them. And I'd love to integrate them into my new and improved diet plan. Like the video if you like the video. Check out all my other intermittent fasting videos and my journey so far subscribe to stay up to date thanks for watching and have a lovely day yeah.